All right then, my friends. So the first step is to create a brand new project using Create React App. So what you want to do is navigate to a directory where you want to create this app. I've already gone to React Redux app. And instead of using npm install create react app and then using create react app, instead I'm just going to use npx, which lets us use create react app without installing it first. So create react app and then the name of whatever your application is going to be. This one is called Mario Plan. So hit enter and then just wait for that to create a project for you. All right then, so now that's created the project for us, we can see that folder over here, Mario Plan. First of all, I want to CD into that directory. Then I want to start up the server. So I'll say npm start so I can preview this in a browser. And that should pop open a new tab in your browser for you. So there we go. We can see the dummy project created for us now. Now in this video, what I'd like to do is just set up all the different components inside our application. So I've got to open this diagram right here just so we can refer to this to see the different components that we need to create. So first of all, what I'd like to do is strip back this app.js right here and uh, just enter in our own content. So let's go to Mario Plan, then source, then go to app.js over here. This is the root component which we see on the page. So first of all, we don't need the CSS or the logo and we can also delete those from over here as well. Let's get rid of that. And let's also get rid of the logo and I'll get rid of the test file as well. Okay, so inside app.js, what do we want to do now? Well, first of all, let's just delete all of this bump in the middle. We don't want any of that. Now then, inside here, what I'll do is just a simple H1 for now. And in there, I'll say Mario plan. Okay, so if we save that now, then check this out in a browser, then we just see that H1. Okay, cool. Now, the next thing I'd like to do is just grab materialized CSS. And I'll leave the link to this down below so you can grab it as well. And the reason I want to use materialized CSS is because I don't want this course to focus too much on CSS. I'd like to just be able to use this library, use some of its classes to make things look good on a page automatically. And then we can focus on the React and Firebase side of things. So if you want to learn more about materialize, feel free. You can check out my materialize playlist. The link is down below. But otherwise, just know that we're going to be using some utility classes provided by materialize to make our web page look a bit nicer. You just want to grab these two things right here, the Google icon font library and also the materialized CSS library. We don't need the JavaScript. So let's copy that and go to our index file over here. And we'll just paste those at the bottom of the head, just above the title. Okay. So now what we'd like to do is create all of these different components on here. Now we're not going to create the content for each individual component. That's going to take too long in one video. So we'll just create the files for now and then come back to the components one by one. So first of all, let's do the nav and these two components here, signed in links and signed out links. Now what I'm going to do is structure these in a more logical way than I did in the beginner series. So I'm going to create folders and subfolders just to keep our components in the right place. Now, there's a lot of debate, surprisingly, about how a project should be structured in terms of folder layout. In my view, it's entirely your decision, however you want to do it, however you see logical. What I'm going to do is just kind of split it up into different sections, if you like. So I've got a new folder and call this one components, first of all. So all of our components will live in here. Then I'm going to create a new folder and this is going to be called auth. So anything to do with our authentication uh, flow is going to sit in there. Things like the login page or the sign up page. Then I'll create a new folder, call this dashboard. So anything to do with the dashboard in here, um, a new folder, then this will be called layout. So things like the nav bar or a footer, if we had one, would go in there. And then I'll create a new folder. This one will be called projects. So anything to do with a project is going to live in there, creating a project, listing projects, etc. All right. So first of all, inside layout, we want to do that navbar. So new file and um, we'll call this navbar.js. Again, I'm not going to enter the content in here. I'm just creating the files so that we have them ready. Also, we need those other two files, signed in links and signed out links. So let's create two new files, signed in links.js. And then a new one, signed out links.js. 
Okay, so we have those two now. Now let's have a look at the diagram. We wanna do the dashboard and inside the dashboard we have the notifications as well. So we need an actual component for this thing right here and a component for the notifications. I'm not gonna put the project list component inside the dashboard folder. We'll put that inside the projects because I think that's where it belongs. Anything to do with the project inside this folder. So we'll do a dashboard and a notifications component to go inside the dashboard. So new file and we'll call this dashboard.js and then down here new file and notifications.js. All right then, so now authentication. Again, let's have a look at this. We have a sign in and we have a sign up page. So just those two components need to go inside that. So let's create those. So new file inside auth and we'll call this sign in .js and then a new one called sign up .js. All right, next we need to address the projects folder. So we have a few different things in a project. First of all, we have this page right here for create projects. So that's gonna be a component. We also have the project details page. So that will be its own component, but we also have this project list as well, which will be a component too. So let's create those three. We'll go down here, new file, and we'll call the first one create project.js. All right. The next one is going to be project details.js. And then the next one will be project list.js. Now I'm going to do one more that we don't see on this diagram over here. And that is going to be called project summary. And if it's going to be nested anywhere, it would be nested inside this project list. So this list is going to list out many different projects and every time we list out a project, we'll nest in that project summary component. I think this just makes it a bit more modular and easier to manage. So let's create that one as well. Project summary .js. All right, so we have all of our different components here blank at the minute, but at least we have them there ready to work on when we need to. All right, so the last thing I'd like to do inside this tutorial is just install the React router and set it up inside our app component right here so that that's set up as well. And if we want to set up any routes in the future, we can easily do that. So I'm gonna open up a new terminal over here and I'll CD into Mario plan like so. Get rid of that. And then we'll say npm install react router DOM. Okay, so now that's installed, let's import the browser router at the top over here. So we'll say import, we want the browser router from React Router DOM. All right, so we have that now as well. We can surround this thing with that component, that tag. So let's do that, browser router, and then we'll close that off. I'm just gonna copy this dude and paste it at the bottom over here and put in my forward slash and scoot this along. Okay, so now we're all set up to use routes inside this root app component as well. So that's it as far as setting up is concerned. If you're finding that I'm moving too quickly and you're not sure what this thing is or all the different components, etc., then I would recommend you stop this series here because I am gonna be moving at this kind of pace as we go forward, unless we come across any new content but if you are struggling, I would suggest that you go back and check out my complete React and Redux tutorial series. First of all, I'll leave the link to that down below. For everyone else, I'll see you in the very next video.